What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're back in the Indian Preserve. So if you guys are new here, I fished last time in this preserve. This is a wildlife refuge for ducks and other bird life, but also it has some great bass fishing in here. And the Indian reservations allow people to fish in here, but you have to buy their fishing license. Anyways, I know a lot of you are interested in the front facing sonar. This is the Active 2 by Lawrence. And today we're gonna be on this thing for the majority of the day and just show you guys around this pond and see if we can get on some big lunkers. So I do have two casting rods with me. On the other side of the kayak, I have three spinning rods set up. So we're gonna play with some fish today on the graph and uh, see if we can catch a couple lunkers. So let's head out in this preserve and get lost and see if we can catch a couple bass. So boys, we're going old school today. This is all the leftover soft plastics I had in the boat. I mean, there's crawfish, there's flukes, there's worms, there's everything in here. Just stuff that kind of got left in the boat. Also, I went to Walmart, picked these up for three bucks on the goodie rack. These are like two or three, in three inch shad swimmers. I think these are gonna be dynamite, just kind of plunking it on the sonar. So we'll give these a shot. And then also, we're gonna go to the wacky worm. Have to throw the wacky out here. today. We're putting a fluke on a Ned Rig ball head and we're just gonna bounce off the bottom. Fishing doesn't have to be complicated. Just use the trash you have and see what happens and then we'll open up the new stuff because this is like three pounds of just soft plastics. Got one. Oh, no way. Got one. <laughs> just messing around. Dude. Literally the first cast. I was trying just to set the front facing sonar up. What are you gonna do, you know? <laughs> a fluke on a Ned Rig head, jig head. Fishing doesn't have to be tough, guys. <laughs> just throw it out there. All right, I ran across like four blemishes. I thought they were like smaller bass, which they are. I thought it was a smaller species down there, but they're bass. You guys see the arm? So this is facing over there so i'll move this see there's a bass up top see these two bass and there's another one up top there well that's a good sizer so he's six foot about 30 feet out so let's see the arm so he's over there six foot down about 20 feet so by that stick out there oh yeah there's three of them chilling on the bottom see the stick about right out there let's get this ned rig <laughs> Luke set back up. I think that's my lure right there. Yep, see that bass going for it? There's a lure. See the bass chasing it? See it hop? <laughs> that's the lure right there. I'm just hopping it. Maybe not so high. All right. So maybe they don't like this and uh, they want something slower. So we'll just switch it up. I'll take this, put this down and uh, get the wacky worm out, throw it right back at them and just let the wacky worm just fall in front of them. There's a couple big bass sitting right here. I'm gonna put this little craw on there just to see if they do anything different. Take the wacky worm off. I don't really wanna take the hook off cause I really do like the wacky worm, but I'm gonna throw a little craw down there and see how they react to it. Playing with your head down all day, get your neck burnt. <laughs> Man, look at all the marks. See I'm cruising over and they're all blurry. There's a lot of fish right here. Oh yeah, look at the bass come in. No weights on that crow. Oh, got him. <laughs> got him. Oh yeah. Crawfish on the floor, no weight. <laughs> Not a giant, but that was pretty cool to watch him on the graph. This is what I like this sonar for. You're figuring out the bite. So you're watching them look at the wacky worm coming down and they're not hitting it. Switch over to the craw, boom, hitting it. So switch up the colors. If they're not hitting it, you know, stay on the sonar. Oh my gosh, this is a good one. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is a good one. 
Oh my gosh. Came up and hit this thing three times. I thought it was a stuck. A stuck? <laughs> Dude, holy cow. This is a good fish. This is a good fish. Please be a good fish. Oh my gosh. I knew they were in here. I knew they were in here. Get away from that trolling motor. Oh my gosh, a striper. Oh, no way. No way, dude. Look at the freaking, this striper. Holy cow, dude. Oh my goodness. Ow. Little shit. All right, all right, all right, stop. Well, I was wondering what those big fish were on here. <laughs> That's why I couldn't hook up with them on the sonar. Holy cow, dude. Oh, beautiful fish. All right, let this big girl go. Woo! Dude, tore my finger up. Well, I mean, we're freaking messing with them on the sonar. I couldn't get them to hit. I'm like, what the heck? Big old striper in here. Probably should have kept them, but... I thought that was weird. I threw the swim bait out there and I'm like just cranking it in. I was actually trying to just straighten the line out in the reel and then boom, 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 just kept nailing it. I was like, what the, rink that thing in? Dude, I swear to you, I thought that was a 10 pound bass. I was like, dude, PB coming in the boat and it gets here and it's a striper. <laughs> but dude, striper in this little pond or this lake on the side, that's crazy. That striper must be just heating up everything in here. Dude, went from front facing sonar day messing with the bottom to a freaking striper making me shit myself. <laughs> no. No. Oh. What is that? Big old crappie. Holy cow. These aren't bass down here. It's all crappie. Look at the size of that thing. Dude, it's three species in one day. Holy cow, dude. Dude, if I brought my cooler, we could have had some fish. Dude, look at the size of that crappie. Oh, dude, that's awesome. No wonder they're not hitting. So we got striper in here, we got bass, and we have crappie. So if they're not hitting, they're probably crappie. I knew there were big marks and there was like 16 of them in a pack. So I'm like, I don't think there's any crappie in here. Sure as shit, dude. There is crappie in here. Damn, we might have to bring out the old barbecue again, dude. There's striper and crappie in here. I'm over here thinking these are freaking bass. Another one. <laughs> dude. No way, dude. A freaking bass. Get out of here. What is going on? Small bass. Dude. <laughs> All the species are in here. Well, we're gonna see if there's crappie out there. I just cut the very end of a tail off and put it on like a eighth ounce jig head. <laughs> Let's see how many crappie we can pull in right now. <laughs> Big old crappie. <laughs> oh, there's some legendary crappie in here. We might have to have a fish fry in here. <laughs> That's awesome. Those are some big old crappie. All right, let's get back to bass fishing. Let's see if we can get on a couple before it gets dark. That one, oh yeah, on the jig, baby. Oh my God, dude, knew it. Not a big bass, but he's long. Dude, he came off the shoulder. I actually didn't see him on the front facing sonar. I was just popping it. And you could see that big old jig on the sonar clear as day. You could see this bass smoke from this dock over here. Just come on down and smoke that thing. There you go. 
caught that other one earlier on that whatever wacky worm fucking crawfish thing I had set up. So I guess the crawfish do work out here. I mean, with all the grass, there's gotta be a ton of craw in here. Oh yeah, I got you. <laughs> oh. That one was cheating. I watched him bite it and then lifted him into the boat. <laughs> Five or six of these dudes right around a bush. Where the hell is that left hook at? Oh. It's about the same size. It's hard when you got crappie that are whiter than this and they look like monsters on the graph, but the bass in here are about the same size. Cruise right over, throw a jig, walk it back into a brush line. Freaking bass are just tearing that thing up, dude. So, had some fun on an active target too today. Uh, I don't know if I'd use it every day. You're gonna have some neck problems if you're gonna stick down and just look at that graph all day. But definitely a tournament setting. I'm gonna be on that thing all day, every minute of the lake, <laughs> and using that thing to win. For an everyday, just having fun out here, messing around with the boys, I don't think I'd use it. I think you miss the swim bait, you miss all that fun action that, uh, that you're not gonna get on that active target. But definitely a cool tool to have on your kayak or bass boat, especially in the winter time when things are tough. That's when I'd use it. But fun in the sun in the summertime, probably not gonna see me use that much. But like always, I appreciate you guys watching my videos. We're gonna come back out of here tomorrow. Maybe we'll get on to more striper and uh, have a little fish fry on these crappie. So appreciate you guys watching. Catch you guys tomorrow. Peace. Oh my God. Oh. 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 Yeah.